Hey everybody, this is IB Math SL question number four from the uh, paper one time zone two exam from 2015. Forget if I said that already. Um, the function gives, uh, the question gives us a function g of x equals ln of x over x. It's pretty straightforward. We're just asked to find the derivative in part a, and we're asked to find the antiderivative in part b. So there are two ways that we're going to look at finding g prime of x. Um, the first way that we're going to try is, uh, let's use quotient rule just to see how that works. Um, so quotient rule, you might remember, is uh, low d high minus high d low over low squared specifically. That is the low function, that is x, times the derivative of the high function, that is the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x minus the function that is up high, that is ln of x, times the derivative of the low function, low d high minus high d low, and the derivative of just x is going to be 1. And all of that then is over the function on the bottom squared. So that is all over just x squared. Uh, we have some simplification. x times 1 over x is just 1 minus ln of x. And then all of that is just divided by x squared. Let's say that we didn't want to use quotient rule and instead said, I think that this is a product. Um, specifically, that g of x is equal to 1 over x times ln of x. So let's try using the quotient rule on this one. So the quotient rule says it's going to be the derivative of the first times the second function. So the derivative of 1 over x is, uh, that's, that's the derivative of x to the negative 1 times the other function just by itself, plus the derivative of the second function, that's ln of x, times the first function just as it is. So the derivative of x to the negative 1, we can use power rule to do that. So this becomes negative 1, x to the negative second, multiplying ln of x. And then the derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x, and we're multiplying that by 1 over x. So um, we are adding these together. Let's see what happens when we simplify this. This is ln, or uh, negative ln of x over x squared. And we're adding on 1 over x squared. And that just, since the denominators are the same, we can write all of that as a single fraction with x squared in the denominator and just make this, um, switching the order, perhaps. This is 1 minus ln of x. So same exact result as what we had above. That should always happen as long as we're doing things correctly. The second part in B asks us to find the antiderivative. Um, now, you have a choice. You can use U substitution. You can also just sort of guess and check your way through this. Um, I'm going to suggest uh, that we use substitution, and you'll see, you'll see why in just a minute. Um, ln of x and x dx. So ln of x over x dx is what we're looking to do. Now, I see this, and I see ln of x, and I know that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So I already kind of see that we have the function, and we also kind of have its, have its derivative being multiplied there. It's uh, very similar to what we had up here when uh, we wrote this as a product. It's, it's already kind of screaming out to us. Um, that since these two functions um, are um, connected to each other using a derivative, that um, it is tempting to, to just use substitution. So let's, let's try this. Um, let's say that we didn't know which function we were going to substitute for. And let's say we did u equals 1 over x um, using our uh, procedure for u substitution, that means that du would be the derivative of x to the negative 1 
and that would again be negative x to the negative second. Now notice that when we do this, we don't get an ln of x. We should get an ln of x. That's the whole point of, of going through the substitution process. We should get something that simplifies the integrand. This doesn't. This very much doesn't. And so that is the sign that this substitution that, that um, we were trying out here is not what we're looking to do. Let's try the other function. Let's say that u is equal to ln of x. Take the derivative and get that du is equal to the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x dx. Okay, and now see that between the u, the substitution that we we're trying to make, and the derivative, we have the function that is inside the integral already. So this is definitely the one that we want to use. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to rewrite this integral similar to what I did above. I'm going to write this as ln of x. And then I'm going to multiply it. Um, instead of the 1 over x first, I'm going to write the ln of x second and write this as 1 over x dx. And you can see that this right here is our u and that this entire uh, product right here is our du. So if we substitute, this becomes the integral of u du. And we know, just using our power rule, what that uh, antiderivative is going to be. We can get that that's 1 half u squared plus c. And now that we have that, let's make sure we remember to substitute back in for u. So this is 1 half of ln of x squared plus c. And so that is our antiderivative and our answer to part B.